Hi everybody, welcome back to DM Dad & Co. This week we're going to go over how to create the keep for Greenest in the Horde of the Dragon Queen adventure. Uh, we've gone over several different builds so far and this one is, is going to have the Sally Port mission involved with it since that is part of the keep but i'm just going to show you uh how to build my take on the keep in greenness in its entirety uh we are using about five different sets to make this build uh we use the dungeon tiles one dungeon tiles two town of village two uh, we used the Dungeon Tiles 3 Curves, and we used also the Dungeon Tiles 1-inch Expansion Curves and Angles. I am also going to be using several pieces from the uh, Barracks, 40, 40 Settings Barracks set, um, the Dungeon Dressings, Stairs and Ladders, and also Doors and Arches. Uh, I do believe I have one or two pieces as well from the merchants or marketplace set and just a few other foliage pieces and bushes and trees that I sort of made myself uh, that are gonna be involved in this video. So uh, we got a lot of pieces here laid out in front of me. This is gonna be quite a big build. So let's go ahead and just get started on this, all right? Alright guys, so we are doing this in sections. This is like I said, this is a pretty big build. What we have finished here is uh one side of the keep, a uh, door that exits out into the courtyard. Um this is just the one section. I'm gonna put that over here, okay, until we need it when it's finished. Now let's move on to the next part, which is going to be actually the Sally port. Alright, let's go ahead and get that done. Sally port's done. Um, we are going to use another interior wall on this side here, uh, but I can't do that until it's clipped in. So let's go ahead and start working on the other side of the keep for now, and uh, we will come back to that. All right. All right, so now we've got the other side of it finished up. Here, we've already attached the sally port, this area. This is actually part of one of the missions, one of the encounters that you will do in the Horde of the Dragon Queen is just this very small area right here where the sally port comes under attack and the adventurers have to defend it. Um, all right, so <clears throat> second section is done. Uh, let's go ahead and work on connecting the tower and then um, we'll continue on to the rest of it, all right? All right, tower's connected. Now let's go ahead and there's just a little end piece that goes on over there and I have some already put together pieces from the one inch curve and angles set. Uh, I do keep them, since they don't really clip together themselves and they are so difficult to take these clips out, I do keep them clipped together most of the time uh, for use like that. So we have several pieces over here that's actually going to uh, connect this sally port to the other side of the keep. Let me just move this over here and I will um, go ahead and put that together for you guys. There we go. Now, as you can see, it's all coming together. <clears throat> we have the basic layout of the keep. Just a few more finishing touches to put on here. 
Um, and then we can go ahead and dress it up and populate it so you guys can see the final build. All right, so as you can see here also, the uh, like I said in my review video, these small one inch pieces don't clip together, but they do fit nicely and I was able to put this uh, little corridor together here to actually connect both sides. Um, so this, you know, they don't, uh, they aren't clipped together. This can be moved, but they do come together nicely uh, when you put them here like so. So if you build this at home for your home games, just keep that in mind that this uh, these pieces are, are loose and they do come apart fairly easily um, uh, in uh, regards to moving it around, jostling and stuff like that. But for the most part, I don't think you should have to worry about that for your encounters or anything crazy. Uh, of course, I do only have enough pieces to build the first floor of the keep. Uh, I wasn't able to do anything higher than that, unfortunately, but at least we have this first floor uh, all gonna be set up for you guys to do, all right? So let's go ahead and put these final pieces together and uh, finish up this video, all right? Folks, there you have the keep. Uh, all that's left to do is just decorate it and populate it so you can really see, the, get the full measure of it. But this is my take on the keep at Greenest in the Horde of the Dragon Queen 5th edition adventure. All right, so let me just go ahead and decorate this for you real quick. There it is, folks. There you have it. This is my take on the keep at greenest. I had a lot of fun building this guy. So satisfying. You know, uh, the Horde of the Dragon Queen was one of the first adventures I started running as a DM. And I've always wanted to be able to make the keep at greenest. Um, and it's just, this is the first time that I've done it. And it, I'm just very proud of that fact. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, as always, if you like this video, if you got anything out of it, don't forget to like and subscribe.